Hi guys, and Kestrel476 here. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get white juggers after all patches. Um, before we start, I just need to say this is uh, using the two console method. So you will either need two PS4s or a PS4 or a PS5. That's how I'm doing mine. Um, it's quite easy. It can take a couple tries and you do also need either a Samsung phone or a laptop so you can download a software. Do not worry, you cannot get banned for this, uh, as I've done it multiple times and I've done it to get this outfit which you see in the thumbnail. Um, so if this video does well, I'll make more videos showing how to do different things with this two console glitch with net cut. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. So then guys, the first thing which you need for this glitch is any pair of juggers. So if you already have a pair of juggers, then uh, brilliant, you can just use them. But if you do not have a pair of juggers already, I'll be showing you now the easiest way to get one. So first thing you want to do is come to this location on the map. You'll see this closed store right here. Just make your way over to there and we can start on getting you these pairs of juggers. So once you are there, you want to open up your interaction menu and you want to go down to hide options. You want to go on to jobs and then you want to put it on custom and make sure everything on this list says show. So as you can see here, uh, it will say show on every single bit on the list. And once it does have everything on show, you will see this uh, job appear right there. So what you want to do is you want to... Uh, go into the Securo serve and you want to sign up as a CEO. Now once you have signed up as a CEO you want to wait for the banner to appear as you can see there and you want to go back onto your interaction menu, click on the Securo serve and then you want to go down to management and on style. Now when on style you want to scroll through all of these until you get the one called Warlord. Now once you are on the one called Warlord you are then uh, ready to start so once you do have that outfit on, you just want to walk into the blue circle and press right on the D-pad to start the job. So then guys, once you are in the start of the job, you just want to confirm all of the settings and you want to start up the job. Um, it will give you this alert saying, are you sure you want to plan your own? Just accept that and it will put you inside. Now once you are inside, you literally just want to change the bike and then press circle to leave. Now once you have left it will put you back outside of the clothing store and what you want to quickly do is run inside and press right on the D-pad. Now you just want to stay inside of any part of the clothing store so as you can see here where I'm on the top section I'm just waiting inside it and eventually it will kick you out and it will put you back inside of that warlord outfit. From there you just want to retire from your CEO uh, placement and you will see that the outfit still stays on. From there you can just save the outfit and then you just want to take everything off it except for the actual juggers. Now once you have done that, we have a few pair of juggers so we can actually start with the two console slash Beth method. So guys, the next thing that you want to do is you want to download that software which is in the description. Don't worry, it's completely 100% trusted. Um, but once you have downloaded that, you then want to come back to the clothes store and you want to have two outfit slots which are next to each other and you want to have the outfit with the joggers saved in the first one and you want to save that as C1 or console 1. Now once you do have that saved in C1, the first slot out of the two, then you want to come over to the pants section and you want to go down to shorts and you want to look for the purple cargo shorts and once you do have those on you then want to save that outfit into the slot underneath that console one and you want to name it c2 or console two now if you go into the style section of your interaction menu you will see that you have c1 where you have the joggers on and you'll have c2 with the purple shorts on now that you have both of those outfits saved we can now move on to the actual uh, net cut process so guys, once you have NetCup downloaded, then you want to go on to Style and you want to be wearing the C1 outfit with the Juggers on. From there, you then want to equip the classic parachute bag and then you want to open up the NetCut application on your laptop. So once you do have it open, this is what it should look like. Um, 
and you want to look for your PlayStation symbol, don't worry, this is not my IP or anything. Uh, I got a random image off the internet and I've circled where you need to do it. So just look for the one with your PlayStation and it should say like PS4, PS5, or some, something or other like that. Um, and you will see this little Wi-Fi symbol next to it in blue. Now, once you are ready to start this process, you then want to press on that symbol and it will then go to red. Now, once it has gone to red, you then want to go onto your other PlayStation and you want to load up GTA 5 onto this same account. Now, with PS4 to PS4, I know that the look, that you can have the same account on the dashboard at the same time. So, what I usually do is I load up, I have all of this on my PS4 and then I do the part where I load it up on my PS5. So, once you are ready to load up GTA on the second console, then do that and look, make sure to cut your internet just before you do it and it will not cause you any problems. So then guys, as soon as you are into GTA Story Mode, you then want to quickly load up into an invite-only session. Uh, bearing in mind you are on a bit of a time limit, but I think it's about a th 3 or 4 minute limit, so it's not too bad, so you should have time to do everything that you need to. So then guys, when you are in, you will see that you have this outfit on, then you want to switch over to C2 with the shorts on. You want to wait for the saving circle to finish in the bottom right corner, and then you want to switch back to Franklin. So then guys, once you are back in story mode on console 2, you can then switch back to your console 1. Now you then just want to take off the parachute which you had on and you just want to wait until it kicks you out of the application and you will be put back into story mode. So guys once you do get an error message saying that GTA has been started on a different PlayStation, uh, just load back up and it will put you straight back into story mode. Now when you are in story mode just go on to online and go into a invite only session. If you did everything correct, you should then spawn in with the white joggers on. Um, this can take a couple tries to get right, but if you do mess it up and you don't spawn in with the joggers being white, then you just need to go back to the part where you like, cut the internet with the PlayStation, you go onto the console too. Um, this does also work for Xbox, but I believe there's a lot of different methods and stuff that you have to do for it to work on that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You, have the white joggers now you can do transfers with them you can do other beth glitches with them um, as i said if this video does well i'll say 10 likes and i'll do another video with the two console method um, but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye bye